Over the last couple of videos, you have seen Ellie do blood work and get her results back that told a lot of the story of why she's feeling the way that she is, which, spoiler alert, has been pretty dang terrible. And now the next step in the process is to go back to the doctor and talk about all of the changes to her diet and supplements that she needs to take in order to start feeling better. But I didn't want Ellie to do this on her own. This is the year that we are trying to get as healthy as we possibly can. Ellie wants to get better physically, mentally. I need to get better physically because chances are I'm having a hip replacement later this year. So I wanna be in the best health that I can be for that. So I'm doing the same process too. And you saw me go through my blood work results in our last video. We are both going to the doctor. We're both talking about our diet and we're both talking about our supplements with the doctor. So come along and let's make some major changes for the better today. So our diet's gonna change quite a bit. We're gonna take a bunch of supplements. One thing we got to be thinking of is our last supper. What do we want to eat before we make oh, all these changes? Jared, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's a good, what's a good last junky meal? I mean, not even <laughs> junky, but just, I was thinking like steak and mashed potatoes. And that gravy. sounds great. We'll have to think about it. Here we go. You ready, mama? Yep. Lots of changes happening today. This is not the typical doctor's office that I was expecting. There is a full on sofa. I feel like I'm about to get in trouble by my dad. I know. <laughs> you know, are we going to get scolded for a second? No. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm good, I'm good. Good. We just got done with our doctor's appointment at Red River Health and Wellness Center. We have so much information in our heads. It's a little overwhelming. To say the least. But we know that we want to make a complete lifestyle change, not just a diet. But it starts with a very specific diet for us to get to where we want to be. Pretty much we're just taking everything out of our diet and we're starting from scratch and we're slowly gonna add more and more in. It is a completely anti-inflammatory diet and I couldn't do this on my own. I found this doctor and this company through one of you guys. You guys sent me Dr. Josh's Instagram and that's how I even found them. And they've taken our blood work. Mm -hmm. They've listed what we can and can't eat. They've helped us with supplements. And we couldn't do this on our own. Yeah. So thank you for telling us who to go to. I finally found out why I'm having pain in my eyes, why I'm having migraines. Like this is over seven years coming, well over seven years. So we're really grateful. So Jared, I'm gonna let you dive into this because my head is. <laughs> Well, I think what was shocking the most is they gave us this little pamphlet and inside the pamphlet, they give us what foods to avoid on the anti-inflammatory diet. At least at the beginning, you can slowly start introducing things back in as you get to that baseline. But let's read off all of the foods that we're supposed to avoid over the next three weeks. So for three weeks, this is gonna be the hardest. It's a huge change for us and we have to really watch what we're eating. So this is gonna be the hardest. <laughs> Tommy's even pounding his fist because he knows that he might be impacted by this. Yeah, this is this wild. Well. Let's go one at a time. Any food that you know you are allergic to, you just got a big list of that. We're gonna yeah. list them here. Dairy, including milk, cheese, yogurt, butter, margarine, and shortening. Butter? Eggs. Gluten, including wheats, oats, rye, and barley. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm including sauces and anything containing tomatoes, dehydrated fruit, rice, corn, potatoes, alcohol, coffee, black tea, green tea, white tea, and soda, caffeine and uncaffeinated, fruit juices, carbonated water, salt, table salt, iodized, we can have sea salt, sugar and natural and artificial sweeteners, including honey, honey and syrup, I love honey, soy, including soy milk and tofu, Peanuts, including peanut butter and peanut oil. I love peanut butter balls. Beef, pork, shellfish. Beef? Mm -hmm. I could have lived off of three steaks a day for three <laughs> weeks. Cold cuts, bacon, hot dogs. No J-dogs. Canned meat, sausage. This is interesting. Tapioca and cassava. I don't know how you say that. Avocado oil, that was surprising. Oh, is that what he said? Mm -hmm. so, I, we can eat avocados, but don't use avocado oil yes. for this first three weeks. Nutritional yeast and cocoa. It says nutritional. <laughs> <laughs> it says healthy in the name. Okay, I'm gonna hurry and list the foods we can eat. Foods to eat, herbal teas, 
quinoa, buckwheat, moderate amounts of sweet potatoes, fresh fruits and vegetables, sea salt, and spices. I personally can't have black pepper. Hmm. Peas, fresh and snap. Beans, including navy white kidney and kibanza. Garbanzo. Uh, black, I cannot have kidney beans. Fish, chicken, turkey, <laughs> I don't know if I'm in love with turkey, but I might have to. Lamb, I'm not gonna eat lamb. And wild game. Like venison. <laughs> so we're gonna be eating tur <laughs> turkey and chicken. Olive oil, coconut oil, and flaxseed oil. Unsweetened coconut milk, and unsweetened almond milk. But here's the exception. You have an allergic reaction to coconuts. So, so you can't have coconut milk. I'm in love with coconut milk. <laughs> and these nuts is what we can have. <laughs> <laughs> Raw, yes. cashews, yes. almonds, macadamia nuts, sunflower seeds, pecans, and walnuts. Ew, I don't want walnuts, but I'll eat the rest. That is a lot of information. What I did love about the doctor's office is in this pamphlet, they gave us several recipe ideas. For this first week, we're gonna make it really minimal and just do what they've suggested right here. Week two and three, they have a Pinterest account. I'll link it. They have 800 different recipes, including breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, snacks, drinks, smoothies. So there's lots of different varieties that we can choose from, pick from, and make meals from those. Yeah, I don't want to overwhelm myself because it's already overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So I would like to just stick with the few soups, chicken sandwiches, all the things that they've listed here for us to eat for the first week to kind of get in the groove. We really want to find three to five meals that we really, really like and just repeat those throughout the week. I'm really good at just repeating things that I like. I don't need to have a something new and fancy every time. Ellie and I, from our blood work, are deficient or over-efficient in producing certain things. So we have these supplements to raise or lower those numbers to get us back in that baseline and hopefully help with Ellie's uh, syndrome that she has been diagnosed with and hopefully bring my cholesterol down, my vitamin D up, and other things. So something that Jared and I are going to be taking together is a, this like protein powder. And they said it is not in place of a meal. Do not do it in place of a meal. They have us taking it multiple times a day. It actually does like a bell curve. You're supposed to start off with it slow and then work up multiple times a day and then slowly taper off. So this is a supplement that we're gonna be taking along with our meals. This was interesting. This this I take one three times a day. This is supposed to help me with sugar crashing to help my levels kind of maintain, which is really nice. Okay, this is mine on my own. I don't even know what one this is for. Do we remember? I don't remember what those okay. are for. Okay, so I'm taking this. We're gonna figure this out. This is, we've just had a lot of information and these are just some vitamins and minerals and also this liquid stuff. <laughs> He told us in detail what everything was and my mind is fried, so I don't know yet. So that's mine. What's yours, Jared? So these are the supplements that I'm taking. I'm starting off with a vitamin D supplement. That's what we're both gonna take and it's a very, very small amount. This is some omega-3 fatty acid supplements. Um, this is the protein supplement that Ellie was talking about earlier. And then this is a super methyl multivitamin. So we have a few different things that we're going to be taking um, multiple times a day, once a day, throughout the next three weeks. Something that I thought was really interesting, this is the last of this, is he said, do not get hungry. This is not to avoid losing weight, like you eat. So he said, you you know, drink plenty of water, eat three meals a day, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, eat plenty of snacks, and eat vegetables and proteins with all three of your meals. And then lastly, he wants us to have a bedtime snack. <gasps> Ooh but he said don't do fruit for oh. that. He wants it to be a little heartier. And all of that was really interesting to me because I do intermittent fasting. So I usually skip breakfast and even halfway through lunch, I don't eat. I'll start eating around one, two o'clock and then stop eating around seven or eight and then not eat that whole time. And I asked him, do you want me to keep doing that? He said, no. You will probably end up losing weight by doing this, so don't intermittent fast. This is what the doctor said. I tend to give people more calories and then they end up 
up losing weight. So if you are already in a calorie deficiency, you will lose an unhealthy amount of weight or be extra hungry and we can't have that. This is really hard for me to do, especially because I'm nursing. I am already very sleep deprived. I am nursing. I wake up a few times a night. I wake up early with kids. I go to bed. I try to go to bed at a decent time, but I want my time. It almost seems like this is a stupid time to start this, <laughs> but something fierce happened within me when they told me what I had. And like, I'm not gonna do this. Like, I am not going to eat crap. I am not going to feel like crap and I'm going to start it today. And I'm just fine and just healthy to start it today because it's not like I'm sitting down eating tons of cookies anymore. I am literally eating turkey and chicken and chicken and really good foods. So I know it's going to be good in the long run. I just know it's going to be really hard this first week, but I think we can do it. Absolutely. <laughs> this has been the emotional journey of a lifetime specifically for Ellie and not something that I think a lot of people understand, including me. And I have not always been the best for Ellie in these situations and understanding but I want to do that more now than ever. I don't have to do all of this stuff, but I want to be as healthy as you and I want to be supportive of you. And so that's why we're Thank doing you. this together. And I just, I, I want you to know, I want them to know that I haven't always been the best and I want to be the best. Like no one ever was. To catch so them good. all is my real test. What? To train them is my cause. Stuff? Pokemon. Sorry. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I meant everything I said I didn't before know what was the going song. <laughs> so what's next? <laughs> we have these recipes. We are going to go through our refrigerator and our pantry. We're going to take you with us. And we're going to go to the grocery store and we're going to stock up on all of these delicious, hopefully, and healthy meals. Thank you. That was nice of you to say. I literally don't really feel the well right now. Like my stomach's in a knot. This is heavy for you. This is heavy. I think just the biggest thing I want to convey is this was such a wake up call. And it's like, I it could have been a wake up call earlier when I've you know been in bed so long and not felt well. And this has been years on end since Calvin was little, I have felt very, very off. And it wasn't just tired, mom, newborn. There was something else and I've always known there was something else. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen four eye doctors. I have sworn that I've had a tumor in my head. I've gotten MRIs. I'm like, what is going on? And now we know. Yeah, it's almost been more emotional within the last week for you because now you can like put a name to it. That's so helpful. It is helpful. And I hope that now instead of all all of these questions, we can just like move forward on this path and yep. start to see change. Yeah, that's why. And I'm that's hopeful. why I keep saying like, it's not a diet. Like it's we're gonna we're just mm -hmm. being healthy. I'm really looking forward to the time where we can start adding things back in. Me too. Like <laughs> peanut butter. I mean steak. Yeah. Butter. Yeah. I need to cook with butter. Mm -hmm. Our steaks with butter are really really good. But we can do anything for uh -huh. 30 days. We can yeah. do anything for 30 yeah. days. We're gonna keep at it. We're excited. We're bringing you along with us just like we've brought you along with everything else. But this is a big deal. You guys have literally watched us time and time and time again being mm -hmm. like, blah, you know? This is the year of health for us, our year of change. I am going to get my hip taken care of. You are going to get your health taken care of. And by doing that, I'm gonna get my health taken care of. You know? Maybe by the end of the year, we can do what Jackson has on his 2023 resolutions. What's that? It's to do the narrows. Oh, Isn't that, that would sweet? be so fun. That's on his things that he wants to do. Because I don't think I could hike that long. Yeah, you it's know? just long. Yeah, I am hopeful we could do that. Me that too. would be so much fun. Me too. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for very, 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 very many upcoming videos where we talk about what we're gonna eat, groceries, cleaning up kitchen. We're doing this. We are, we're doing it together. And please let us know if you guys are doing something like this, you know, changing your lifestyle for the better, whether it's health related, financial related, uh, family related. Mental. We, yeah, we would love to hear what changes you are making to better your life. Let us know in the comments down below. We'll have Red River Health and Wellness Center's website down below as well. So if you guys have any questions, you can reach out to them and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Bye. I'm so excited. Wish us luck. I know. We need it. Bye.